words of wisdom, guys. If you guys want to buy something and you don't know if you want to buy it yet. Buy it drunk. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, for some people and including myself, you know, it was a time to really just, you know, reevaluate everything and just kind of like think, you know, what am I going to do after this? You know, how am I going to be a better person and what, what can I change right now? So that when all this is over, I'm able to just, you know, hit the well, ground okay. running. Let's, let's touch up on that then. So the effects pretty much of quarantine how how did you handle that dude so at the beginning not gonna lie started off really good bro i was yeah. like oh, i bet you know we made the transition working from home it, it was all good but then i mean you came in you stole the mics you stole i took the, everything home i was like Fuck it, i'm gonna keep it everything nothing. i'm gonna keep it with nothing it was as if you know oh so you've been holding on to that thought for that mm -hmm. long yeah yeah let's let's oh, have, it's well, probably in your fucking notes huh uh, no, it was in the last week's notes, but I couldn't bring it up. Yeah, so it's okay. all right, whatever. No, but for me, it was just, you know, at the beginning, it started off good. But then, you know me, bro, I'm a person that needs to be around people yep. to fucking charge my energy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Some people need to be away from people <laughs> to recharge. I'm like, bro, get me in front of people. Like, I need to recharge. So, in a way, it was, you know, very draining. But that, 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 you know, that time really just helped me figure out what it is I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it. And, you know, once we got the momentum going, I feel like, you know, like I caught a second breath and right now I'm just, you know, thriving and filled with energy, bro, that mm -hmm. I just, you know, want to wake up every day and just keep creating, keep, you know, continuing this mission. And you know what? Like, I like this is going to be it, bro. You know, like, I, how I, do you keep it going then? Cause I know, I know you, I mean, this is the, and I've told you this millions of times, like, you could be, you know, up here on a high, but yeah, then yeah. next thing you know, you're pretty low and you stay there for a little bit. Like, so, how, what are you going to do this time to so keep it up? So one thing that you told me, and it's crazy how Marco actually sometimes says some pretty fucking good things. And it's crazy how you still cannot say my name right after, what, two years of doing this? I said Marcos. You said Marco. S Did you say Marco? S you said Marco, huh? I just, it was you like said a, Marco, huh? It was a delayed... <laughs> <laughs> there was a delayed... Delay. Oh, you're right. Sorry, yeah, you sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and now you made me lose my chain of thought. It's crazy how I uh, did what? How Marcos. Oh, so we were talking the other day and like, you know, I always share my, uh, you know, my thoughts with you and, uh, and let you know how I'm doing mentally and, you know, where I'm at. Definitely. And, you know, you've seen my trajectory, you know, when I'm up, when I'm low. And the one thing that you said that just completely just, you know, stuck to my mind was that, you know what, how about we stop shooting for streaks and start shooting for consistency, you know? Yeah. Because it was so fucking true. It was like, you know, yeah, we could go on a hot streak for three weeks, four weeks, a month, but then, you know, come back and not do anything for another two it's weeks. funny you know how you mean? say that right now, boy, and we're going to shoot three people next week. Yeah, hey, there you go, bro. And like, that's how much I fucking like caught onto it. And I was like, yo, we got to get this going, bro. Dude, all right, we're all hypocrites here. Then No, I'm kidding. No, no, you're right. You're right. Street, no, uh, but yeah, yeah, consistency yeah. is key. Like, that's that's, the, that's the name of the game. And I mean, every single time you do something and you're like, dude, I did this, I did that. I'm like, Cool, good but keep i going. don't want to i don't want to be like dude good shit like just keep it like that no yeah. no, no keep i'm just like cool keep it going and, and that's the thing you know like i i like to sh i love getting you know recognition you know like who know. doesn't who doesn't it's you know gratification the but the, the the greatest thing about the team and the people that i surround myself with is that yeah they give me that recognition but they always and you guys always tell me yo but the mission isn't done Mm -hmm. you know so there's still a lot to you know continue to accomplish and we still have a lot to grow and uh the fact that you know we're still doing this over a year later means that you know we're you know, on yeah, onto during, the right track and dude, doing something right bro you know, and it wasn't just this uh, the covid i mean we had other challenges that were also against us and we still managed to yeah. keep it going and you that's know? i feel like the one thing that you know i'm grateful for having you know somebody like you is that no matter what we're very solution driven and mm -hmm. we're not going to let anything stop us you know along Definitely, the way yeah. we'll make sure that we you know figure it out and you know keep going forward bro keep give me some forward. more compliments man i like this you know what marcos uh, <laughs> that was it bro that's uh, it? that was Damn, it man bro. you know maybe you'll get lucky and get another one in a few more episodes but for now bro let's right, just i'll wait for along. i'll wait for episode 66 how about that no <laughs> fuck off <laughs> no <laughs> this one, i won't i won't upload any more episodes then nah just kidding bro you're fucking the best dude bro. thanks bro <laughs> appreciate best, it man, man. <laughs> appreciate it I'll, I'll venmo you two bucks for that one bet 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 how about uh physically then how how were you keep so physically I wasn't, you know? <laughs> and I'll be straight up honest, you know, physically like I, still not, <laughs> you know, so it's like, yeah, I'm not afraid to just be up front because once I'm up front and I let things out in a way, it holds me accountable. So it gets to the point where I just eat myself alive and then I'm going to go and just fucking kill it. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, it's coming. Okay. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Okay. But like, it's crazy because that's how self-aware I am that I know. So it, everything kind of like compartmentalizes in my head. So uh -huh. 
I need to go step by step until I'm just a boom, full force. And I just take, I off. see that. I mean, for me, it was obviously gym every day, but then when this happened, yeah. you're trying to figure out all these different ways of how you're going to find a solution um, on top of more problems arising every it, it, other every day, other day. You know exactly. what I mean? I mean, luckily, you know, you figure it out and you have to learn on your own and you know, you either go work out with a, you know, somewhere on a park or something, but then they start shutting that down. Yep. It's just, it just got pretty intense, but you know, you figure things out. No, I'm not being consistent. Obviously not. It's hard. No, no, no. Especially when, you know, you're just at home doing nothing, but, uh, you know, you, you, you find ways on how to, you know, keep your body active or keep your mind active at the same time. As no, well. definitely. And like one, one of the things that, you know, I notice is that, you know, I have this voice inside of my head that even when I'm not doing what I need to be doing, subconsciously, my head's telling me like, yo, why, why are you doing this? Exactly, or what, yeah. what, you should be doing more of this, you know? Mm -hmm. And it gets to the point where nobody can ignore it. You know, like you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, hey, I didn't accomplish what I wanted to accomplish today. And you got to be honest with yourself because if you're not honest with yourself, you know, not everyone will bro, be. it's hard, man. But that's, it's hard. But that's the thing. If it was easy, everybody would do it, bro. And it's a yeah. constant, like, reminder. It's a constant uphill battle. But you know what? Nothing bad happens out of, you know, putting yourself in situations that are going to make you grow. You know, mm -hmm. even if you don't know where it's going to lead you to, yo, the best way to freaking start something is by failing. Because then you come back and you know exactly what you did wrong and you try to mm -hmm. switch it the next time. And it's not going to maybe get it the next time. But it's called, you know, consistency, bro. Keep going at it. Keep going at it. Because eventually, yo, it's going to hit. Definitely. Definitely, bro. It's just of the way, that's the way it is. And that's the way we've always been running anyways, right? Exactly. So you learned a lot about yourself then, huh? Oh, bro. So much to the point where I was just kind of like, well, I mean, like just right now, this past week, I've been just on a, on a different groove, bro, with a different mindset and a different type of hunger where I'm just like, I want to accomplish this and I'm going to do it. And everything is just lining up and I'm just keep on just pushing forward, bro. And I feel like, you know, this time around, we're in a position where we have a strong grip on what we want to do. Yeah. And we're, you know, moving towards that. So it just feels good to be moving forward, bro. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel like for me, it's a, I, I kind of learned a lot about myself just, you know, in the fact that I don't have to be running a thousand miles per hour at all right. times. You know, I, I'm not someone who's used to being at home. I, you know, I go home right. and sleep and then I wake up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. You're I'm, all over the place. Yeah, and I'm always. All, I'm used to it. I, you know, this. I was trying to do the same thing, trying to stay out. Mm -hmm. But th what can you do? What can you really do? I mean, so I, w I would stay home for the majority of the time. And I realized, man, dude, I kind of like it here. Like, yeah, it's cool. but that's the thing. But, that's, that's exactly the thing, bro, that you start growing that comfort. You know, you start yeah. getting complacent. You're like, ah, I don't have to do it because I'm at home. And I feel like that was my biggest fear comfort and the, i got comfort so, i got i watched you 100%, netflix bro. Honest, same with I me bro i never watched netflix and i finished there was one time i finished two shows in two days bro same bro and I, I i don't i i still don't like watching netflix except when we're going to sleep at night but even then i'm on my phone reading articles to like yeah. freaking three in the morning because i like i just want to absorb anything that i could like you know use and take action on yeah, that's going to yeah. help us you know catapult us to the next level and that's exactly what i felt that happened with this whole COVID thing that all this, you know, all this quarantine, staying at home, you know, being comfortable, you know, losing, you know, that yeah, momentum really was just a step back mm -hmm. to catapult us, you know, forward. And if we look at it like that way, it's more of a, you know, of a learning experience. And uh, I think that it was, you know, in a way, a blessing in disguise because we're back. I mean, you, you've been great, bro. Your mindset's amazing. Yeah. I feel like I've been on a groove. I feel like I'm back to being fully energized. <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm back at all, to be but honest. But that's okay because you're consistently coming in here and we're consistently working on the things that we want to create. Mm -hmm. So by default, bro, if you hang around by the barbershop, you're going to get a haircut. Yeah, true. So regardless, it's just about, I feel like, the environment that we are putting ourselves into. I'm trying to grow dreads, though, so. Uh, I don't know. I can't help you there, bro. Okay, okay. okay no, yeah. just, 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 just random? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well. Do you know anyways. what you're saying? You have no idea what you were saying, huh? No, bro. You know I can't be doing that. Like, <laughs> I'm like it. a squirrel, bro. Like, I you, you switch me out, and I'm going to freaking what? Huh? Huh? Wait, what? Is that a dog over there? Man, all I know is I was watching Netflix. I love I loved Outer Banks, bro. That was such a Dude, good show. Dude, you know which one I watched that I was just hooked on because this guy was a fucking comedian? I don't think I want to know. Tiger Lion King? 
Lion, Tiger, Lion King. Tiger, was it Tiger King? Lion King? It was Tiger no, King? Tiger King. Well, you know who I'm talking about, bro. It doesn't matter. You get the idea, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So that guy, oh my God, he was a fucking jokester. Dude, that such was a character. such a great show. But, but if you really think about it, like he is very good at attracting people and he's very good at transmitting energy. You know me. what? He reminds me a lot of you. Oh, bro, that's fucking not even a compliment. I feel offended. He does remind me Fuck of- Fuck Carol dude. Baskin. <laughs> nah, okay, yeah, Carol Baskin did it. But no- She did it for sure. But no, he does remind me a lot. You know, you guys both radiate energy. You guys are both okay. always on, you know, trying to- In that in that aspect, yes. And that's what I feel a lot, you know, both has to do with, you know, how you go about doing your life. That if you're able to transmit this energy, it's something that isn't- visible but people feel it bro and mm -hmm. you start you know surrounding yourself with people that have the same type of energy and it's just like fucking putting like a whole bunch of freaking you know charger cables together and freaking yeah. just psh, creating a shitload of fucking energy bro i think that's also my thing where i kind of like i you know i have my my way of being but then if i'm surrounded by people that have energy okay mine goes up well, but Oh, I mean, yeah, that's I'm what sorry. we were talking about last yeah. week, huh? Oh, th th that's what I was going to pick up on. Yeah. That Remember how, uh, freaking, shout out Salvador Salinas, yeah, bro. Right? That was a freaking philosopher on brain fucked me it, like crazy. I was what like, what does running mean to you? Holy I was like, crap. bro, I don't even like running. <laughs> <laughs> running? <laughs> but Spell the one it. thing he said that both of us, you know, carry the energy, right? We both carry this light. Yeah. But you're more of the person that intakes the energy and is able to radiate it back to the person, you know? Yeah. So on the contrary, I'm the person that just radiates energy, mm -hmm. but in the sense, it's all the same because we still have the energy. Well, I mean, one thing with you, it's like, you're the same person on screen that you are off screen. Yeah, and that's my goal, bro. I strive to stay congruent on screen and in person, bro. Like you're always yelling at your phone and you're always yelling at people. So, you know what I mean? It, it makes it makes sense, right? It does, bro. It does make it a does. lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. I just freaking... <laughs> How about... Okay, so now still sticking to COVID and uh, in quarantine, did you learn anything about anyone else maybe that... Yeah, I, I mean, not anyone else, but in just particular? in general, bro. Like in a general sense of everything... I really noticed that there there was two routes you could take, you know, you could fold and let this, you know, take control of your life or you you were able to stay proactive along the way and keep pushing forward. Right. Yeah. But you know what? Everybody deals with this differently. Everybody, you know, understands, does life different. So whatever worked for you in this quarantine then I'm glad it did, you know, because as long as you were doing something, mm -hmm. I feel like, yo, at least you're moving forward. You're crawling. That's that's what it's all about. So I just really learned that if people really want to make something happen mm -hmm. and if they really want to pursue something, nothing's going to get in the way, you know, nothing's going to stop you and you got to keep pushing forward unless, you know, you have uh, circumstances that you can't control. But other than that, bro, it's literally up to you to be able to push yourself to get to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. So I just learned that people either get it or don't get it or they fold or don't fold. That's funny to me. Why? Just because, like, it's, you're, you're basing it off of, like, general people? or you j j What are you basing it off of? Well, I can't just generalize, you know, one person. Uh -huh. So it's just, you know, what I noticed throughout the whole, like, social media and everything that we're able to see. Mm -hmm. You know, like, for us, I didn't want to go up there and just continue to keep talking about, you know, what's going on when something else was changing as soon as I was saying that, you know? So in a sense, for me, it was just more of a, of a chance to kind of intake everything and really just be able to understand what's going on and then be able to come back and say like, well, this is what I did. This is what I noticed, you know, instead of trying to make that analyzation right there and then. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. Right? So it's not like I'm basing it on like, you know, let's say Marcos. I noticed that Marcos binge freaking Netflix all fucking quarantine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Okay. You know what I mean? No, it wasn't like that at all. I see what you mean. So overall you, you think you had a good personal growth? Yeah. Oh, yeah. By far, bro. It was like I said, it was just a time for me to freaking be able to reboot, recharge and get myself back into the mindset of, you know, being able to accomplish anything, bro. It, in general, bro, I feel like it just opened up the opportunity for a lot of people to also, you know, get their creative side going mm -hmm. and really tap into whatever they were already building and be able to plan it because this that's what it basically was a time to kind of just re take a step back and just replan everything, bro. That's so true. You know what I that mean? That's so true. I found myself doing a lot of reflecting. Exactly, bro. And it was like constant reflection where you're like, okay, I'm having this thought over and over again. Like, mm -hmm. what am I going to do about it? 
And the crazy thing is that you can't go out and get distracted because you have to stay home. I think for me is also where I was just at home and I did a lot of self-reflecting, but I also learned a lot where I told myself, you know what, I'm ready to do this and I'm ready to do that. Right. I'm ready to, you know, maybe focus on this and I'm ready to focus on that. Yeah. I'm just going to be super general, super vague. Yeah. 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 But you know, I, I, I told myself, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to jump into these new projects, you know, yeah. um, new friendships and stuff like that. So trying to figure everything out is, has been pretty, uh, pretty fun has not been stressful at all. But then again, how can you be really stressed when you're just chilling? Yeah. Obviously you're not making, there's nothing to make you stress if you're not, I mean, you're, you're not, not making, trying. you're not making money, but you're figuring out other ways on how to do it. So I took on other projects that I would never, ever, ever do. And for me, it's been, it's been great. It's not the same, but I'm just ready for the next jump. I'm ready for let's 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 let's, let's keep wrapping it let's up. Bro. Going, you know what man. I mean? And that's like that's where I feel like you know I'm glad that we have this you know this this energy that we're creating right now yeah. is way different than when we started. You know, because now we kind of have an idea and a general sense of what we're able to create and do. Mm -hmm. So it's like, where do we want to take this, and how do we want to you know keep scaling? Yeah. you know the energy. And I'm happy that you and I are speaking like in this type of tone right now yeah. because you know normally we could be super loud, super energetic, like celebration. Yeah, right, episode right, right. 33 for us is a celebration. It's a great. I'm still energized, guys. Exactly. Don't worry it's about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. But right now we're trying to you know we're also speaking about hey, it's like a reflection for spoken. the energy. We haven't spoken. You know, exactly. We haven't, uh, we haven't been on the mic together since before quarantine. So now, for reals. now it's just like. Okay, where, where do we go from here? And that's what I'm saying. We're ready to take that next step. So I'm, I'm stoked. I'm excited. I'm stoked. I mean, we got a new freaking team member yeah, right here. I know, right? That was Shout out Beta, bro. That's freaking dope. <laughs> Um, he, but slid, no, he slid into my DMs. Did you know that? Yeah, he was telling me. Bro. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. It kind of slid into mine too. So I don't even know. And then he Can slid into the him? energy DM, bro. Damn, bro like and three he, thought, what? he thought we were gonna see that. Damn, this one was playing Ooh. both of us, bro. Hey, we'll, we'll put his we'll put his picture right here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. He he wants us both. It's okay. We you know we don't we don't judge here. We're all cool. One of the things I did realize in my life, bro, and it all goes back to three, right? Was I found my three pillars, mm -hmm. you know, and my three pillars is what holds me down and keeps me motivated to continue to create, bro. And the first one is my mortgage business, you know? That's the main one that helps me be able to feed everything and create this energy. Mm -hmm. And after that, it's my passion, bro. The energy, like this is our baby, bro. This is like literally our brainchild that we're, we're literally raising from one year, we're at two years. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm excited to see where we're at in five. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's what keeps me motivated and keeps me pushing forward. Re recording from the Bahamas, what's up guys? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Type shit where we're able to just now give people a different flavor of what we're creating, bro. You know? So it's just like, I love what I do and I just continue to do it because mm -hmm. you know what? We do this shit for free and, mm -hmm. uh, you know what? We have the most fun. Definitely. We do. You know what we I mean? Like, free. and like, th think about Although it. you are going to pay me my 1000. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I still owe you the 1000. Uh -huh. I owe you. I also see that chain on your neck, but whatever. Uh, they got it for me. Oh, speaking of, remember I told you I had given you a, I was going to get you a gift. No, you never gave me a gift. Well, I told you I was going to get one for you, but it didn't come in. It actually just came in. I saw so I got dropped that, off. That's what they all it's say. Actually, that's what the, they all it's say. actually the chain. It's actually a chain? Yeah. You got me a chain? You got your chain with the bolt too. Dude. I promise. Is it worth a thousand? Yeah. Yeah. We could say it's worth a thousand. Okay. You don't have to pay me. Perfect. Even. We're there. Nah, but I mean. I'm, I'm going to go sell the imponent and see what happens. Go ahead, bro. Shit. It's not mine anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. Now, what's, but, your what's your third? Sorry. My third one, bro, was uh, something that was actually created during COVID, bro. You know, during this quarantine, which is La Cocina de Mari. Oh, dude, I thought you were going to say a baby, bro. Oh, uh, bro, shut up. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Yo, why you got to come at me with these vibes, B? Like, damn. how? 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 Damn. Oh, hey, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> hey, yo, City Bass, send me over that invoice, bro. I'm going to need that. You already know. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, bro, so the funny, I mean, little backstory on how Cocina de Mari started, right? Let's talk about that. Yeah, bro, let's talk about it. That's what we're going to do. Where is it? Oh, uh, I told you I forgot it, bro. No, you told me she was backed and you couldn't back. She had a lot of back orders and she couldn't get. Oh, me. fuck. That's what I meant. Damn, oh. you did forget. I even knew. I was I in a hurry. It. All right. I called it. I was too. in a hurry. I it. And I, I really it. wanted I to when get here to record today, energy episode 33. No, 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 no. I called you today. I was like, place an order. I want those chips. And you said, yeah, I got you, bro. And then you were like, oh, dude, my mom, man, she had to make a lot of orders. All right. Let me, let me, let, let, like, nah, let, let me stop forgot. you right Brian there. Forgot. Let me you stop you right there. Let me stop you right there, bro. Let me stop you right there. The one time, the one time, the one time you don't come through all of a sudden. I'm a bad guy. 
And you said you got me a gift, but you never got it. Bro, I do got it. It's just not here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, bro. Whatever. I'm done with this shit. So, anyways, it. let's talk about La Cocina de Mari. Can we? Yeah, of Can course. We? I heard she's a fire salsa. Like dude. the best salsa so, in San Diego. Dude, fire. I Honestly, I challenge you guys to try the Cocina de Mari with against any taco shop in San Diego. And I say this with confidence. If you don't believe me, I swear to God, I'll pull up on you with the salsa at any taco shop you're at. Hey, bro, I don't believe you, man. You don't believe me? Yeah. Go to taco shop. I'll pull up on you. No, just bring it to my house. That's okay. Fine, I can do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that makes, right, sense, that makes that sense. sense. No, uh, but so the thing about that was, you know, obviously everybody got you know laid off during this time because you know nobody's going to restaurants, nobody's mm -hmm. you know you know socializing like that. So you know, for the first month when my mom was down and you know first time being unemployed you know she went through a little phase where she herself went through you know a rough patch you know like same thing like all of us and uh and this one time this one day i randomly got an idea you know i was like hey mom why don't you start selling like antojitos mexicanos which is like road tacos flautas you know sopes yeah. chile rellenos and stuff like that and to be honest she was like nah <laughs> she didn't want to bro because what? i feel like she didn't she didn't have confidence in herself to you know feel that other people would enjoy her food when you know when any of my friends would come over my mom would just fucking no, knock that's it out normal the that's normal though that's normal okay so right you so can't you can't be shocked no that's i normal. wasn't shocked but then you know me you know how i am i'm like do 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 yeah. let's freaking make it happen there's no problem let's go um you know i realized not everybody see things like that you know which is okay mm -hmm. and uh you know so you know i was proactive enough i created the logo i started you know designing the instagram page and linked up with my sister. My sister and I ordered a whole bunch of, uh, you know, to-go uh, plates and a whole bunch of packaging and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And one day we were just like, hey, mom, maybe we should just cook, uh, you know, this food for fun for us. You know, let's see how it goes. And, you know, we did it. You know, obviously I took pictures. I took videos. And I just started uploading onto, you know, onto Instagram, bro. Yeah. And sure enough, the first week that we opened up, bro, we sold out. You know what I mean? And... From there, it's just been like a domino effect that, you know, it's just been falling, you know, domino after domino after domino. And now my mom has this confidence and this, you know, this energy that she holds. And now she feels empowered by knowing that people actually fuck with their food because it comes from the heart, bro. La Cocina de Mari, you know, Man, co comida it, con amor. Like, it's just like amazing, bro. And her, her words, she's like... When I cook for people, it's like, you know, I'm cooking for my family, my loved ones. So I know that I'm putting in the real love to make this. I remember I walked into uh, the house one time and it just smelled so good. I don't know how you could be in there. Bro, before, it's like, ridiculous. Like, I just like, oh, bro. Dude. No, like, it's just out of this world, bro. I'm blessed, bro. Hey, whose idea was it to put the heart on the bag? Me. Why? So, I'll, I mean, because, I mean. Because it's made with love, huh? That. And, you know, people always like experience, you know, uh -huh. people love being part of something, you know, and that right there was a specialized, like, you know, um, how do I say it? Like customized bag just for you, you mm -hmm. know, so it makes you feel like, yo, we're taking our time because we are, you know, we're taking our time to deliver the best food product, to deliver this food that is legit made with love. Yeah. And, you know, we just want to be able to radiate, radiate that same energy to mm -hmm. the people that, you know, consume our food. So that how how many people do you have? It's just you, your sister helping. To be out? honest, it's a two man show. My sister's uh kind of you know she helps out. Mm -hmm. She's kind of more like of a, you know, rover. So she just helps here and there. Mm -hmm. But so when we started it, it was a two man show, bro. Just me and my uh, just me and my mom. She would cook. I would package. I would deliver. Um, and basically little by little, I started getting yeah. ideas to like, you know, oh, let me add this, let me add that. And just little details that people will always remember. You it's know? funny. I think you've also inspired other people to, you know, start their own and things, that, which that's, is crazy. That's, that's the thing, bro. That like, you know, it only takes one person to take action for others to realize that, Hey, if he did it, why can't I? Exactly. And, and then anyone my, could do it. Anyone, bro. Like I'm not rich. I'm not the smartest person. I know that for sure. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just a regular person like you guys, you know, but you know, the difference is that, you know, I get an idea and I automatically take action on it. You Definitely. Know? Not knowing where it's going to take me, but I know that taking that initial step. You like taking that risk. You know, I love it, bro. I fucking pay that fine and take that risk any day. Any I would have waited longer. I would have been like, okay, we got to figure this out, figure that yeah, out. Yeah, bro, I'm just like on go, go, go. We'll figure out along the way. Mm -hmm. And what I've been noticing just with everything, even with the Real G, um, with the Energy Podcast, bro, is that, you know what? Like, we have the ideas of what we want to do, but then you come to think that 
alone, you could get stuff done faster. But once you have a team, you could go further, bro. You let's know what reflect. I mean? I mean, let's we'll transition that. You know, we'll make a little gateway to like let's reflect. Like, remember yeah. that first episode that we had? We didn't have tripods, bro. We didn't have tripods. We had boxes. We had boxes. We had a freaking up. what was it? A little like stool that clipped the microphone. Oh, we had, yeah, we didn't have these mics, right? We had the no, other mics bro, we had to the clip, and then they didn't even clip correctly, so we had to get some weird stuff think to that clip it would it. fit because the table didn't take it. Like it was just a complete mess. It but was, it was definitely a shit show. But at the end of the day, we were like so stoked, like dude, our dude, first we did episode, it, we got it done. Episode, you know? And from there, we realized like. Oh shit! Maybe we should add this. Yeah. Hey, how about we get these tripods? Hey, let's get this. You know, little recording like machine. Hey, let's get these microphones, these mic stands, and we just. Started. It was all an idea, and then Brian, take some shots. And next thing you know, I bought everything <laughs> at two a.m. Man, what were you doing at two a.m. Bro, I was just you know investing in the energy podcast, bro. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, bro, that's what it was. Yeah, and were, were, was your credit card number like blurry or anything? Or nah, I'm surprised bro. you got that correct. It, it was crazy because it's already just automatically saved. So. Words of wisdom, guys. If you guys want to buy something and you don't know if you want to buy it yet. Buy a drunk. <laughs> Dude, yeah. No, that's the way to do it. I mean, that's, I mean, are, are we wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, just like. I mean, no, bro, because at the end of the day, you're able to say like, fuck it. I got it now and I'm in this deep. So fuck, there's no return policy. Been waiting, so, hey. I've been waiting for that third mic for a while now. Oh, shit. As a matter of fact, I got to I got to talk to you about that. OK, cool. I need to get you some shots first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, we'll handle that. We'll I need to get you some shots. This guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Here's the credit card. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> do it. Just take it. What do you want to get? Let's nah, get to the but else. The thing is that. Like, a new laptop, too, man. Just letting you know. Yeah, bro, we do. That, that's exactly why we're starting to, you know, move. <laughs> you the energy in a different direction because we want to be able to reinvest into our energy to be able to provide you guys with the best quality content the best quality of you know sound and be able to just keep impacting people bro we have so many ideas that people have no like people have no clue what not we, at we all really bro have. like and that's the thing that I, today i was talking to Moss. i was like bro like if you go look at my google docs i have like seven different ideas that i'm just waiting to like pick out of the box to yeah. fucking like make happen definitely but we can't do it because we're still along the path to get there bro so you gotta get you gotta go a b c gotta build that credibility exactly bro so it's like along the path you know we know what we want to create mm -hmm. which makes it easier for us to keep moving forward it's because just, we have a sense of direction it's just a matter of us really you know we're just gotta stay consistent that's it bro and stay i feel like i feel dude. like that's what we've been doing and it's like you don't have to just you know accomplish a week in a day when i you don't can think just people understand how day. hard this is really and they don't bro and that's the thing that like this takes a lot of time how was it when you when you started it Dude, we had one lapel mic with four people on, on the first one we, yeah right it just, it just echoed we just used but that's exactly the type but of then shit as I'm you talking kept about. Going, what, what, what happened? What was your transition? Yeah, we just got all a bunch of. We got the C100s, mm -hmm. the cannons, and there the you bikes, go. the snowballs. Yeah, right? You learn as you go. Yeah. And, and I feel like we're still learning as we go. Like Oh, for sure. We're not done at all learning, and I don't think we'll ever be done learning. Exactly. You know? I think we were talking to Rev Body after uh, after our episode. Remember, we just said, like, hey, like we're not experts, but we, we have fun doing this, and we're going to keep doing this. And exactly, you know what? We're going to keep learning. Like, we don't, we don't know everything, but hey, We'll tell you how to get started. Yeah, for sure. Like, if you guys want to get started. Podcast, podcast wise. Yeah, podcast wise, for sure. And that's the thing that, like, you know, we're not the type of, you know, brand that's going to, you know, shun you down. On the contrary, we want to help people. You Whoever know? wants to come and, you know, just see what we do and how we do it. Like, bro, my we, doors are open. Our doors are open, bro. Anybody could come sit down and see what we do. Exactly. I and mean, the, that's the whole point. And that's what we also want to, you know, keep reiterating that, hey, Come, come and watch. You'll see how the background really is. You'll yeah. see that, hey, there's actually tripods, there's cameras, there's there's a soundboard, there, uh, there's me. There's you, me. There's mostly me. And then we mostly could, you me. know, and and the guests. So it's it's always fun. I mean, it's a lot of work and people, people are starting to see and it's pretty fun because a lot of people also want to start podcasts. And, you know, that's the thing that we're not afraid to let people in, see what we do. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a firm believer, bro, that unless you can hack my brain and see how I'm envisioning things, the idea of how you're going to make something happen is going to be nowhere near how I want to make it happen. Supporting you know? each other. I mean, I could just you know say I mean? I, right now it's like what sauce and Sevi when they support each other yeah. all the time, you know, you could just see it when 
uh, everyone else. You know, we also have Dice Roller. We're always, you know, in constant and communication with them. they're another podcast with them, you know? Dude, and they're, it's and like, they're, you know, they're two cool dudes. Like, I mean, it's always, you know, always there, a good time. There's enough cake for everybody to have a slice, you know? Exactly. So it's like, on the contrary, we're trying to grow in numbers with our community. Shit, like, why can't we all do it together, you know? Like, it's not like, hey, let's just fucking get ahead. Nah, bro, you gotta pay it forward, and you know, you know, and, help it, the and if you get and if you get hate, you get hate. You know, if you're if you're getting hate, bro, that means you're doing something right. I have no like, no worries about the hate because yeah. if you hate me, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just focus yeah, yeah, yeah. on creating the energy, put it back into me, bro. I don't Definitely. have no time to be wasting, you know, my energy on people's opinions because that's your opinion, bro. And if you feel like that, well, then great, go tell it to your journal. Yeah, definitely. That's, <laughs> For that's, real. that's growth right there. That's a lot of personal growth. It is, as well. bro. Like, you know, like I don't, I just, I don't, I don't let that affect me, bro, at all. Yeah, I mean, someone, someone asked me the other day. It's hard for me to really get mad. Oh yeah, for I sure. I get frustrated. Sure, I get bothered, but do I get mad? Also, one thing I stopped doing is, uh, you know, when there's people that are just very, very, very passionate about what they're trying to discuss, mm -hmm. and whether you give them facts, whether you show them that they're wrong, uh, they're still yeah. going to, you know, stand with what they believe in. Yeah. I just stop, you know, wasting my time on trying to change their minds, and I just agree with them, mm -hmm. and I feel like it's a, you know, it's a, a passive affirmative, you know, uh, way of, you know dealing with that and not having to go into conflict because people don't know how to just conversate and exchange opinions without offending someone. I think it's fun. Um, I recently went on a road trip. And oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that, bro. It was fun, man. Me and uh, my friend Patrick, we just we drove up the coast up to Oregon. Yeah. yeah. Um, we went to other places, Idaho, like, you know, certain secret spots. But one thing we kind of did was we made sure to maybe talk to different people <laughs> around there and say, like, right. But I mean, from a safe, safe space, obviously, safe distance. Um, but all we, we made sure to like have some conversations to be like, so what's it like being out here? What's it like? How has COVID affected you, especially being from a small town? Right, right, right. You know, just talking to so many people because you learn so much, man. And I think that's and but what I'm trying to say is that we did talk to people that didn't want to talk to us. Yeah. At first, they didn't want to speak to us. And, you know, we're like, OK, cool. But I would keep asking a question like that I knew they wanted to answer and then boom we just started talking it was cool like it's a lot of cool stories I mean uh I'll talk about that another day but I mean it, it was cool what was I really do cool. want want you to you know share with us is that hike that you took bro the that hike. you were talking about that your legs were just giving out but you Man. got through through your mental strength Dude, that was one of those things where I just never I've never had I've never felt that type of mental uh what's the word strain S strain yeah you're right like I I, I like to think I'm mentally tough because of a lot, you know, just a lot of prior experiences. But this hike, man, it was insane. We had to climb about 3,500 feet in elevation. I want to say it was 20 miles, you know, yeah, round yeah. trip plus, maybe more. Um, but we were just, and with 30 pounds on your back, man, it's physically, I felt great. Mentally, I, I felt like cold. after the second hour, I think we were hiking for 10 and a half hours. And after the second hour, I just told myself like, nah, there's no way I'm going to do it. And let, let me just ask kept you a question. Through. When you were going through that, you know, what kept you pushing forward and what did you learn after it uh for me was not disappointing my friend really because yeah. i know how much he wanted to get up there and he's pretty much a you know expert hiker me beginner i guess yeah. you could say with backpacking and you know i just didn't want to disappoint him i wanted him to get up there so for me my push was just i'm doing this for myself obviously but i want to do this for him as well because we did not travel this much just to do fuck all you know we got to get, get over there but you know the crazy thing is that you know you're you're not willing to let down your friends or the people you love mm -hmm. but sometimes we're willing to let ourselves down yeah you know what i mean but and, you don't even know it and sometimes. you and you don't, you don't you, even you know don't it. even you do it subconsciously you just do it but when it comes to somebody else you never think twice about letting them down you know I guess it could be different for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people are just so into themselves, which oh, is yeah, not yeah, a bad thing. Sure. Obviously, no, no. Yeah, it's, you have to, right? <laughs> but then also you have the other people that are, are willing to help someone else. Out. Right. Um, you know, some I saw a meme the other day. It was just like uh, someone putting on a Band-Aid on another guy. Yeah. Or whatever. And on the person putting on the Band-Aid, it said me. Yeah. And the person on the guy goes, uh, my friend that I know damn well wouldn't do the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's okay because that's not what it's all about. You know, you don't do a favor for someone just so oh, they can the, do it back. Yeah, exactly. You know, you do a favor because that. that's what you do. I hate that, man. I hate that. When I do something for someone, I do it because I fuck with you, I love mm -hmm. you, and I'm doing that out and of my And you know, heart. if they're if they're doing you a favor, you know 
they go, they want it back, you know? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. could yeah, you could hear Will. You could hear Will. I will. No, but yeah, that's that's the thing. You know, a lot of people have a, you know, a different agenda or, you know, everything that they do comes at a, you know, expense of having to do something back it's to them. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing though. I mean, I mean, give or take depends. It's not like you, you could do something for someone and then all of a sudden be like, "All right, but you have to do this for me cuz I did that for you." Is that I mean, but then And that aspect, fuck you. Exactly. Yeah. That, that, I guess yeah, that's, yeah. I'm just saying it's not a bad thing if you're all if it, you don't do favors for someone because you know, you obviously you don't do favors I, I for see, people, I but I see where you're coming from. It's like You keep talking. Hey, I'm going to check the cameras. I lent you my hand, but now when I'm asking you for help on something that I need your help on, if you're not reciprocating then, you know, what the hell was the point of us being, you know, in connection with this okay who do we got first oh me go uh sebi sebi so yeah i've been talking a lot with sebi and sebi's actually been ramping up uh you know his music and he's been working on a lot of new uh new stuff and i love it because whenever i kick it with seb he's always showing me like new music right mm -hmm. and so i get the you know some of the most exclusive like you know listens to how's that music, music? Video? fire bro it was dope like just seeing my boy in his freaking habitat just like a fucking panther just you know, Killing we'll, it. we'll always have like that special in, I'm talking about energy, special yeah, place yeah. in our heart for Sebi because he was our first you Dude, know, guest yeah. and he had to be here while we did the boxes and all that. So, yeah. So he's literally like, seen it from yeah, man. So that's square why, one. That's why we, that's why we always, you know, yeah. we're always bringing him up because we have to hype him up as much as he hyped Definitely, himself. Definitely bro. Well. So and obviously it reciprocates. Yeah. So Seb's coming out with a lot of new stuff and just, you know, Seb has that right mentality that, you know, no matter what, he's not going to get thrown off his game because he sees the vision so clear yeah. that he knows what he needs to do i mean it, it's great just like obviously seeing our prior guests like doing so many things like for example uh jose yeah dude yeah dude what bro i've actually reached out to him already and we we're gonna run it back because uh you know what i was telling you the yeah, other day yeah. like you know just He's... as simple as like whenever you want to do something you take action yeah. so what he do he started making videos for you know um uh Other artists artists you okay. know what i mean and he started just pushing those videos out and then you know what happened he freaking, they contacted him and now he's working with them, you know, helping them create their content. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So just a perfect example. Look, if you want something, go out and do it. Don't let nothing stop you. Just take complete action yeah. and fucking bet on it. Definitely. I mean, that's, that's been pretty cool. And then also you see like you slave Manny. Bro, big shouts out to them. They've been staying consistent and then they just opened up the Coast Nutrition, which actually during quarantine, you went to, I got the opportunity to stop by and uh, yeah, yeah. I got the, uh, I got the Pica Mango or no, no. Oh, mango. Yeah, it was something mango, like uh, kind of like a chamango, okay. but in, 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 in the tea form. And uh -huh. then Michelle had the, I believe she had the, the chur, the churro one, the shake, uh -huh. and they were freaking amazing, bro. And that's just another, you know, another members of our, another members of our community that you know promote great energy, that promote we just have positivity. So many cool people, man, it's, bro. It's really and the cool. crazy thing is that they're all doing something bigger than them you know so Definitely. they have a mission and that's what i fucking love bro Stick i mean there's just so many so many people we could touch up on but we don't have all the time yeah i wish world, i wish i but mean is there anyone else, anyone else that stood out to you pretty much yeah so marianne also she's been very oh, yeah. active and you know that girl's a hustler bro and you know that's the type of people that you want to either learn surround yourself around because dude we gotta action. go to that place man i want to go i never even got to taste the when you guys did the mukbang Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Shout out the uh, Cream Kitchen. Cream Kitchen. Yeah, there we go. There yeah. Shout out Cream Kitchen. We definitely gotta hit them up, Dude, bro. Dude, yeah, man, I, I wanted, I wanted to taste it, but you never let me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, also, I mean, you know, if you want to be, uh, you know, another guest is uh, Sassolini just dropped his debut album. Lini, yeah, man. there we go. And you know what, past bro? Guest. Like, uh, yeah, past guest. But like, I listen to the music, and the thing is that you know, yeah, they're my friends, but at the same time, the words that they're saying and the things that they rap about. I relate to and I resonate with them. And I remember, you know, being on the phone in the morning and I called him and I was like, yo, bro, I'm literally crying with tears of joy because your music's making me like joyfully cry. You know what I mean? And I was like, bro, that's the type of shit that I like, bro. And I'm not going to lie, bro. I'd be, I'd be crying sometimes in my car and I'm not, I'm not crying because I'm a little bitch. Um, but I'm crying because of tears of joy that I'm fucking working towards something that, you know, it's coming along and that like, I'm so grateful that I'm surrounded by amazing people, bro. I see it. I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't see you crying, but I see like that. You, you see are, me crying? You're going to go say like, you okay? No, nah, nah, I just let, let him cry. It's okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I do see it. Obviously we've talked about consistency and how yeah, you've been yeah. so motivated. I mean, I feel like everyone else, especially after quarantine could, could feel, could feel the same thing coming out from you. You know, your videos are back, you know, we're, we're yeah. putting videos up for energy. You know, there's so many things going on. So many ideas flowing in your head. My thing is now we got to keep it going. Keep staying consistent. Keep trying to think of new ideas. Um, because you know, at the end of the day, this is a platform that we build and we didn't know it's going to be this big. So it's cool. You know? Yeah, bro. And 
And yeah. I mean, like, we only we only like dreamed, but we could make it a lot bigger. And that's the thing is always room for improvement. Like I said, we're always improving every single day. Improve with yourself, improve with your mind, improve with your body. It's improve a with whole everything. round it's crazy. improvement movement, bro. Like you're just going to improve every single step of yourself along the way. Bro. You always want to reach that goal. But the thing is, you reach the goal and you get. But that's the thing complacent? that I feel like this is the I mean, what we're creating is something that we're never going to be able to, you know, be able to fully get to a finish line because honestly my, the goal of this podcast is to be living on forever bro the brand mm -hmm. everything and in a sense of way like you know after we're done with our time here on this earth mm -hmm. the energy is gonna forever I, live i feel bro. like throughout the podcast we've been talking about us but the thing is this is how, this is when we talk about it we're actually talking about like hey like this is real life conversation yeah like, no definitely what are we doing next like what how are we doing it because you know we only get to talk so much during the day yeah because we're both caught we're up both in our things our, we're exactly both doing that our we don't stuff. have time we don't we don't have 30 minutes to really talk about no we you don't know, whenever we say something it's like t like Quick 15 seconds. Marcus, I thought about this. Okay, cool. And then I'm um, busy. And then 30 minutes later, Brian, I thought about what you said, but why don't we do this? And then 20 minutes later, Bam. Uh, Marcus, let's go get food. Okay, cool. And I'm like, Mar Brian, what were we talking about before? I so don't know. Way. So it always happens, you know? And that's one of the things that, you know, we've been talking about, hey, we need to sit down and kind of just regroup and re, you know, analyze everything. And I hope people do. also get from this conversation is that, you know, it's, you know, if you want to go after something, just do it. That's the first step of doing something. Just get started. Even if you don't know how fucking like crawl to that shit, you know, mm -hmm. as long as you do something, bro. Hey Amen. Are we going to talk about energy? Like uh, the foundation? Are we going to talk about real quick? Our, you know how we didn't. Uh, yeah. Are so, we going to admit to our uh, prior faults when it came to uh, naming? To naming what? Oh, all right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. We so, have a confession to make, guys. All right. So, <laughs> you know, when we first started. It was never going to be called energy. Like that was not even close to the name, bro. And, uh, you know, when I met with Marcos initially Break. for the first time, breaking news here, you know, I had a different name for the platform that I wanted to have and with a complete different mindset, with a complete different like branding idea. And most of you guys probably already seen it. <laughs> they definitely followed you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so originally this podcast was going to be called the little guy. Oh, dang. You should have put like a big pause before that. All right, let's do it again. Okay, 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 okay. Originally, it was going to be called The Little Guy. I'm not going to edit. I'm just <laughs> You're an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> See what he does, bro? This one's like, hey, I'm about to alley-oop you. Psych! <laughs> nah, um, Little nah, Guy, man. Damn. Yeah, and then the whole thing behind that, I was having a mindset of like, you know, the underdog, you know, this and that. And then... I hit a dead end where I was just like, bro, I don't even feel this. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling it. And, you know, we kind of left the name on a, you know, on a float, like, we'll, we'll, we'll see, you know, along the way. And it wasn't until that one night where I randomly just shot you a text and it was like energy. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's, that's, that's the name. That's the name. And it was like, after that, it was just basically just poof, set in stone. And now look at us. We have hats. hats we got shirts, shirts. You got chains. Chains. You got a chain too, but it's on its way. So I've been told. Uh, uh, what, what, what's the idea how do we come up with the energy like wow. so the energy bro it's <sighs> colors wise, i love it bro right? so gonna... i'm gonna get into the whole thing i love it i love it so the energy is very simple concept race right we all create energy right yeah and where do we get our energy from from within so what it's the energy your energy from within and that's basically the gist of the idea of our of our brand that this energy is not just something that i create marcus created something that we all have flowing through us definitely but the key thing is that you have to tap into it to be able to align yourself with the light mm -hmm. you know like and that light. right there is the process of you understanding who you are what you want to do how you want to do what you are you know everything about you to the t so that you know exactly who you are and how you can, you know, use yourself as a tool to get you to where the fuck you want to do. I mean, where you want to be or accomplish whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the number, the, the the colors, I didn't like single handedly pick them out and say like, hey, these are the colors I want. <laughs> I just thought it looked fucking amazing. It did. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I was like, that shit looks cool. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> but just recently, I just been, you know, realizing and kind of just and just thinking like, what is what are what are what are our values you know what does the energy stand for you know so i went and started just looking up simply what the colors uh black and yellow mean you know black and yellow, black and yellow. besides that was my favorite song in high school shit ah ha ha shout out wiz <laughs> <laughs> nah but you know i started writing this stuff down because i really wanted to just you know fully tap into the to the 
to the T of what the interview. Oh, you actually is. have something written oh, down. Bro, I wrote Dude, this. You've down. been looking at a blank page the whole t- the whole podcast. Yeah, because I don't and want you, you to looking, see my shit. And you keep looking down. Because like, I was what visual- are you I, before I, was I write call something. You out on that, before I, I write something mm. and before I do anything, I gotta visualize it. Stupid. <laughs> thought go. <laughs> so basically, you know, I started looking up what these colors mean, and keep in mind, I had no idea. Right? You don't know what? Okay. What they mean, bro? Not what they look like. Okay, so you went on Urban Dictionary. What happened? So I looked up what the color yellow means and, you know, I broke it down into a few words. Happiness, positivity, mm. clarity, energy, optimism. Wait, is that energy? Energy. Okay, cool. Um, optimism, enlightenment, honor, loyalty, and joy. Mm. Right? And it just, when I saw that, it just completely made sense. Like, yo, we are subconsciously you know, putting out this energy. And it's so funny how it, it, it stands for everything that we, you know, we stand for, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And then, you know, I went and looked what black means and the color black stands for power, fear, mystery, strength, and authority. You know, I just got goosebumps. Okay, dude, all empowering words that once you combine them together, bro, it's like the yin yang of the energy that, you know, you control both sides of who you are. But once you align with the energy, it's like Mm -hmm. you just put two both of them together. Like if it was a peanut butter and jelly, bro, they just fucking go. And it's like, you know, like I always say, it's unorthodox, but it makes fucking sense. Because and here, that's how shit is. And here we are, 33 days. I mean, 33 episodes ah, later. I said it. <laughs> Got it. Here we are, 33 episodes later, and look at us now. Um, you know what I mean? And also, bro, just, you know, this whole, this whole, pr- like, movement, this whole brand and everything that we do is legit for, like, the community, bro. You know, for the city, for the people that, you know want to tap into the energy we know we we do it we we do what we can and what we didn't realize bro is that what was san diego known for the fucking chargers bro and what was their symbol of fucking you know bolt bolt bolt, bro yeah so now that they're gone and that energy's out of here bro we're taking over san diego needs a feeling of energy oh you're right we're the fucking Fucking ones to deliver it should have thought about that you know what i mean and on the contrary like you know people are already nostalgic about the chargers so did i say it right nostalgic nostalgic shit anyways the word that marco said people are already you know you know they're already able to you know uh feel that the energy is there with the bolt bro yeah yeah yeah, because They're already used to that. And for all these years, they supported the Chargers. And it's like, yo, we want to bring that same energy and that sense of community that everybody, you know, came together to watch the Chargers. Yo, we just want to be, you know, fill that void and be the voice of, you know, the San Diego people, bro. And I just want to make sure that we're able to impact as many people and give them an opportunity to that share what they got to say. And you, that makes total sense. And you, you have a point. But with that being said, because we just, with that being said, with that being said, Time for, is it time for lightning round? Time for a lightning round, bro. Holy shit. How long have we been on? 58 minutes. 58 minutes? Yeah. Oh, shit, bro. Time goes by fast when you're having fun. I know. I was going to say that, too. I don't think we've ever, like, had Also, it. before we get into that, I actually have, uh, you know, an impulsive, uh, an impulsive idea that I didn't run through by anyone, but we're going to be doing a giveaway, and we're going to be raffling off two hats for free. Uh-huh. Oh, no, actually, three hats for free because we do things in threes. threes. Um, yeah, so we're going to make a post and we're going to, you know, put it out there. You guys will be able to, you know, chime in, you know, participate. And the goal is to be able to just, you know, give back to the community just like the community has given back to us, you know? Well, we're making, okay, yeah, we'll talk about that. Three posts or something. Bam, we'll, we'll three something posts. Out. And it's coming. I already have what I sent you. So, you know, it's in the works. But the goal is to be able to just even come closer with the people that support us and just keep growing together in numbers. Cool. The hats are pretty dope. So, so yeah, we also got some cool hats coming in with the three, three, threes. We have a lot of things planned, guys. We have a lot of things planned. It's crazy. Uh, I get excited. Uh, all the cameras running. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, okay. ladies and gentlemen, it's my favorite time of the energy. So we, Brian, all I'm right, going to interrupt me. you. Yeah, fuck Go you. Ahead, fuck interrupt. Me, huh? All right, let's so get to it. Fuck my you. thing is we do have a lightning round, but the only thing is that we are 33 episodes in. We've had 33 guests. Some of them have repeated. Some of them haven't. You mm-hmm, know, some mm-hmm. there's so many different things, but I'm going to test your memory. Oh, shit. That shit sucks. I'm going to test your memory. Oh, I'm going to ask gosh. you specific questions, and I want you to tell me which episode it was or who was it. All but right, bet. Let's th- do let's, it. Let's see what let's we can do, do okay? Let's do it. We're gonna Fuck. Hey, I just want to disclaim something. 
before you guys get mad at me, I am ADD as fuck. So bear with me. Okay, ready? Question number one. Question number one. Who said the following? <laughs> this year, I focus on self-care and taking time for myself. We're still young and establishing our roots. Take the time to reflect and move forward with it. Should I give you, should I give hints? Yeah, bro. Come on, bro. Okay, man. Ready? So I'll give you hints. Damn, I fucking suck at that shit. Was it? How about you give me a was it like, you know, so I could kind of like, you know, process of elimination. Okay, ready? This bitch. So was it, was it Anthony Hernandez? Was it Jose Alvarado? Was it Agent Gutierrez? Or was it, or was it Rossi? I'm going to go with Adrian. Wow. That was good. I got it? Yeah. Shit, bro. I knew I knew my shit, bro. Okay. Ready? All in, right. What's next? In which, epi- which episode did we in which episode did we host you, Slavey, and Manny? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that was episode... Do you want me to give you hints? Four. Should I give you hints? Yeah. Okay. What was, was it for? Was it episode four? Was it episode seven? Was it episode nine? Or was it episode 11? It was four. Wrong. Episode nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Which episode is our longest episode? Oh, fuck. And I'll, t- I'll, I'll give you this hint. It was, it spanned a total of an hour and 34 minutes with five seconds. Can I get another hint? Was it Froviche? Was it Business Bros? Was it Dice Roller or was it your podcast that we did, you and I? I think it was mine. Your episode was a total of one hour, 19 minutes, 24 well, seconds. Well, that's just, you know, kind of the same. Just mine Dice was like Roller the, was one hour. That was actually four. what I was going to say, yeah, but, you know, I love me, so I went with me. Uh, <laughs> okay, which episode, which does not include ours or the 33 days, is our shortest episode? Uh oh, not including thirty three days. Was it one of the ones we did when we did a roundtable discussion? No, I said not ours. Oh shit! So was it Eric Vega? Was it Eric Harris? Was it Sos- Sosalini the second one, or was it Aphrodisiac? I'm gonna go with the Eric Harris one. Aphrodisiac. God damn it, bro! I fucking suck at this shit. <laughs> who said? Who they, made up these questions? Who said they? Who said they get their energy from the city? Uh, was it, uh, was it not your city? Was it not your city? Was it, that's actually pretty funny. Was it Daniel Morales, David Garza or curls? Oh, it was actually curls. Yeah, boy. Asylum six shouts out. How many times have we hosted? Okay. How many times have we hosted more than one guest at the same time? So you know what I mean? Right? Pairs. Pairs, uh, I believe we have done that only twice with uh, Manny Uslavy and uh, Dice Roller and uh, Dice Roller Will and, uh, no? She said twice? Oh, like consecutively? No, how many times? No, not consecutively. How many times have we hosted? Two people at once. Yeah. Twice. Three times? Bro, I fucking hate these questions. God damn it. Four times. Who? Damn, I'm sorry, double up, bro. Never mind, don't ask that. Go. Like that. T- uh, you could, the last question, who was it? Can I get a, uh, can I get a lifeline? Uh, no. Mm. Oh, you're right. That's our red body. What the fuck? And then, who else? Ah, oh, dude. Why, do I, why is this so fucking hard? Same concept as Red. A man you slavey? Okay. And, and Dice Roller. And who else? Mm. Big Heart. Christian's Big Heart, bro. Time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to chime into that. Yo, okay. like we got some stuff going on for Christian's Run, so we'll make sure we're going to push out a lot of information of how this year we're going to, you know, handle that uh, the 5K marathon. I know we're not going to be able to do one, yeah. but there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be able to, you know, still put out so people could join and still be part of that movement. Perfect, cool. And uh, now we're going to move on to My Name Is. Oh, perfect. I love this. Oh, you go, th- yeah, you go first. All right. My name is Brian Landeros, and I get the energy from the inner me. My name is Marcos Lopez, and I get my energy from the people that surround me. 
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. God damn it. I fucking love this episode. And I just want to give everybody a shout out. Everybody that's been rocking with us. Everybody that's been on the podcast. Yo, continue on doing what you guys are doing. Be the leader of yourself because only then you'll be able to lead other people. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to YouTube, please, please go on to the link in our uh, profile and just subscribe. Follow us if you guys haven't already on you know Instagram and everywhere that we're on. So just basically, guys, we're here to stay. We're not going anywhere the energy is motherfucking radiating we got and we got more, so much stuff episodes after this coming out right away get ready for everything to happen yes we so go. we're stoked all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for rocking with us episode 33 of the energy podcast my name is brian landeros my name is marcos lopez energy out let's go let's go